हेलो व्यूवर्स वेलकम टू प्लानिंग पी सिक्स होप यू आर डूइंग वेल टुडे वी आर हेयर विद द टॉपिक ऑफ हाउ वी कैन एड इन एक्सेल आवर रिमेनिंग यूनिट्स हाउ वी कैन शो इन एक्सेल एस कर दैट द रिमेनिंग यूनिट्स आर फोरकास्टेड आर एट कंप्लीशन यूनिट्स इन एक्सेल दिस क्वेश्चन आर रिपीटेडली आस्क बाय द our friends our viewers that how to create or add in excel the remaining unit how to get and how to customize the s curve how to prepare it so that's why we are created a sample project assign some resources and update the project according to our progress then for we take that project as a sample the values are also assumed values just clear your concepts over there so i will show you the what we are going to do today so here if you can see here this is the s curve which is created previously by us so how we can show it here you can see up to here we did we just taking this s curve as a reference from our project so here up to from there now these are the forecasters are uh, the remaining units are at completion units sometimes if the your progress or performance is not good and your program of works spi in negative and spi less than 1 then maybe these forecasted units are going up because according to the plan according to the plan you are going going great but after that maybe your project is in delay status with some reasons maybe the forecasted unit will be increased from the your planned units now this is our blue one is our planned this dotted line is our forecasted so according to the project if the man hours are freezed you cannot able to change before the permission from the client then you have to recover your schedule otherwise this will be increased and you will recover slowly slowly by improving your performance maybe this will be increased then we will also tell you how to customize that if this it will be increased from 100% it will be not go then you have to revise your schedule otherwise if the client is not giving you the permission to revise the schedule then we will tell you how to show in excel so we have here a sample project just Uh, the activities and you as you seeing here that our schedule percent complete is 19.32 and performance is 25.06 and our units percent complete is 17.19 so this is just sample project we are taking uh, for that purpose and we will update here and we assigned here the a very uh, small resources for two or three weeks now we will start to customize the from the start weekly basis as per you can create from here daily weekly monthly bi weekly quarterly as you wish today i will clear all the concepts here how you will get the data from the resource assignment sheet or how you create the resource spreadsheet so without wasting the time we will move forward to the practical work so here just i have created a copy here for the same one now we will start customization of that one so we will move to the primavera here and activities just mention here the project start date or baseline start and baseline finish and then you have to uh, also make sure that your week start is when maybe on saturday maybe on sunday it, it is according to your calendar maybe on monday so your week started you have to uh, keep in mind so our project is starting on 7th of november and suppose 7th of november 2022 and suppose the our week closing is on sunday and new week start date is monday so we have to also keep in mind if we are creating a weekly then for the month there is no matter because the month is starting on very fast is okay and then for the quarters you have to take according to uh, the month year quarters four quarters like january to march then 
April to June like that. So for the weekly you have to keep in mind your week start. So this is 7th of November up to when 7th of November 2023rd. Uh, this is uh, approximately one year. So we will do it here. The original duration is less because the calendar is assigned for the project is uh, five day. I think so. So we can check it. Yeah, corporate standard full time. So here, if you go for the modify, you can see it. The how much working day Sunday and Saturday is off. Then other five days is work. So it means your week started from work week sunday monday sunday is off so monday is on then monday to friday is your working hours so okay close it after the closing we just create a new s curve go to the s curve which we have copied here we can say here that we are now week start week finish week start so here we will say 2022 is okay we just take the sample and customize start customization date so here November 2nd of January so here we just say 7th of November because our project start date so we have to see from 7th of November up to the 7th of November we will just say here week because we are creating the weekly we will see here in the calendar here in the calendar that 7th of November is going when November 7th of November is also Monday so this is our good luck so here without any hesitation we just say 7 to closing of week is when just see here closing of week November 7th and then 7 to 13th of November is our first week so here maybe we can say it by 6th day so 13 is our we closed it so how we will customize here the next we just say here 14th of November is starting date then here also six days and just now we will July 23rd we reach to the August and we have to go for the November December no 26th of November what is our project completion date is maybe we can see from the Primavera here is 7th of November 23rd so minimize it 7th of November 5th of November and then where is this week is 7th of November so here what we will do just just delete the other rows and to keep the formula we will just keep the last row as a reference so here this one is giving us the reference to just like this okay so 12th of November as our project completion is 7th of November we will just say like that plus one so here you can see here the our dates are there now we have to customize our up to the this November 2022 and 23 we have to segregate it March center okay maybe I will expand little bit to see the all dates you can also uh, format this one as a vertical if you want to keep this one like alignment for this row if I go here and uh, go to the format cells and here alignment I can change from here to here you can see now date is going like this way you can also do by this way as well okay so here now we have to see 2022nd first 2022nd up to the 2022nd we will just keep 23rd 22nd when it is completed so this one maybe we can count this week in 2022nd and now this week is for 2023rd all so here merge center okay 2023rd okay so here we have already written the weekly okay now save this one 
after the saving planned hours how we can from the bi-weekly we can say it the weekly okay cumulative and then here weekly okay all bi-weekly we will remove from here if you don't have this bi-weekly then okay because we are creating the weekly if you are doing monthly then write here the monthly either or you can just leave it as it is if you are understand and your client is not forcing you just leave it like that so now what we will do you can see here it is telling us that your formula is going wrong because why our values are not calculating because this value is getting from the previous value what we will do just keep like that it will be okay now also this one we will just formula paste it if you are inserting then don't edit this one add copy and insert between here to the very first then you will able to see every percentage and your s curve will be not disturbed at all so this one okay okay now how we will get that data and put here weekly basis there are two ways if you are week is not matching from here from the resource assignment how we will get from the resource assignment so first of all you have option to add the columns here customize the columns as i have explained in too many tutorials for about the resource assignment but group and sort customize you can group and sort by wbs level by activities or uh, by the resources you can also have option to group and sort by the uh, units each and everything you can watch from here then you can also apply the filter where if you want to get the labor non-labor equipment machine resources whatever you are creating for the quantity car whatever you are creating for the uh, labor units or machinery units every units are bill of quantities or duration based test curve you can get from here so here for the duration base you can get from our tool schedule analyzer the excel sheet so you can able to put over there so here how we will manage our time scale because now you can see here this is up to the 6th of november 6th of november so the second is 13th of november so 6th of november we don't know so what we will do here budgeted unit we can manage our time scale through week per day so we can get it okay So you can see here now the date started okay go back monday tuesday thursday wednesday thursday friday and saturday there is saturday holiday it means the calendar is not affected for this activity so maybe we can see it over there that how the calendar is not affected the calendar is not assigned correctly as i told you that we assumed and prepared just this schedule for the learning purpose so that's why no need to check the calendar if your calendar is okay or not whenever you are doing on a rare project then you have to check it before so as this is now as per the per day so we can have option to see from 7th to this way you can take it and put over there otherwise you can see here from 13th from 20th this is the closing a uh, starting date of the month so maybe we can say here time scale two lanes project start calendar type financial week of the year you can put here from here okay anything if you want to get from for the month quarter year month each and everything you can year quarter you can get from here so we are now getting for the only for the daily basis or you can take it from the week if your project week is starting seventh then it is okay we will again go for the week per month month per week apply okay so here these are our values so this is for the project total cumulative we just take this cumulative values and put over there whatever we have so here just go there at the end up to the end so here maybe copy and if you have excel file here so paste here 
in plant our because we have assigned over there if no we'll just open a new sheet of the excel excel okay it's opening paste here and just now these are our units take it copy and paste here paste, paste special values you can see here now we have budgeted units up to here again because i have assigned the limited resources that's why it's coming like that so other is same we will keep same zero zero value will be there so if you have a real project then you can see it. how it is breaking from here it is accumulating for the cumulative the previous one and then calculation by automatically by the formula so how we will take the now actual units for our project so here we will go to the project and here you can say budgeted unit now we will give go for the spreadsheet fields so here you can see budgeted unit if you don't found here the budgeted unit you will go to the customize and find here find or see from these options time interval and cumulative you can check it from here okay spreadsheet fields budgeted units these are now budgeted units only and now we will if go spreadsheet fields actual units actual units we have consumed over there only for these three months okay three four weeks one month okay just go here and copy with the same way paste here in a excel sheet to get the values okay paste here now this is for the first week if you are doing for the per day then how you will do it for a day suppose this one is day then you will just calculate the seven days or six days or five days for that one and see here at the sum and put over there or you can calculate by the formula by the formula for every seven weeks you can take it or you can do it manually if you using the formula maybe there is a chance of error so here actual units are there today the main purpose of preparing this topic is remaining units showing the remaining this one i have already shown over there so this one now actual units weekly pay special values okay other we will delete it because these are not the actual units so how we will calculate now the remaining units from here so there is a no actual units up to the there okay delete others up to here only actual units now if we see here the behavior of the s curve will stop there where the s curve actual units is stopped where is it so actual plant percentage is okay then earned progress or actual progress percentage is there so what we will do we will delete this one as well this is getting for plant percentage this is for the actual we will delete other all from here okay delete it right you can see here our s curve is going earned progress 16.39 we have to accumulate it for also we have to delete it delete it okay now you can see it stopped here so now we have to show our forecasted our remaining units are where are they so here for the remaining units what we will do suppose here is our total how we will calculate it the remaining units over there for the weekly or accumulative how we will get it so is equal to this one now accumulative and minus this one minus 50 instead of plan minus and we will do the formula with this way so these are 50 units we have to do so these 50 units how we will manage these 50 units so what we will do is equal to now we have to calculate our remaining weeks or how much remaining weeks for the planned progress so suppose our remaining weeks were from starting here to up to where is value here these are how much 14 weeks are remaining what we will do is equal to this one 
plus this one divided by 14 enter so what we will do here maybe we just say here the dollar sign to carry our formula over there okay just keep up to the here because we have only values over there up to the here okay now what we will do if you have the plant progress up to the end then keep this row drag at the end okay now how we will calculate this one the accumulative remaining forecast hours accumulative so here is equal to this one plus this one okay go there so here dollar sign we have to freeze this value put here the dollar sign it's not taking we will do it sorry we will just copy this one here paste special values over there okay then what we will do just do it by this way this one plus this one and now drag the formula it will be correct okay 708708 1708 okay now we have to calculate the percentage weekly and then remaining percentage accumulative so how we will calculate the weekly percentage if you see here this one divided by the overall here this one the overall hours so what we will do for the remaining percentage weekly so there is equal to this one divided by the same Is there any remaining? Yeah, we will delete that one. No need for this one because these are the remaining previously. So here, if you see 3.72%, what we will do, just put the dollar sign here. And drag the formula. or if you have the total then we will take it by at the end so here what we will do here we will just now calculate the formula over there now this one is earned progress percentage is how much control copy and paste special values here okay now for the accumulative remaining is equal to this one plus this one okay enter now we have to drag up to the this one now you can see here this one is 100 percent is coming how we will calculate the remaining from here also if you want to see from the primavera with the same suppose client is not accepting your remaining because if the if these are at completion remaining you can just go here customize and search here the remaining remaining units so remaining early units remaining late units remaining units budget units early units remaining late units at completion at completion units are there remaining early units are remaining late units are there stuffed remaining units these are the categories you can find from here if you are creating for the cost you can take from here the cost and also for the units is there financial values are there and also cost for 
these all for the cost you can search from here now if you want to see here the remaining early units okay remaining early units are now this one these these are the remaining early units when you put there it will be uh, hopefully equal to that or if you want to see the add completion units then customize it and right here add completion units cumulative add completion units so here okay apply what we will do just say here apply okay now you see cumulative the units are there at completion units when it will be completed it will take you up to the when the project is completing it will be take up to the end whatever this because here in the calendar there is an issue so that's why it's showing like that up to the 2024 so this is the way how you can get from the primavera so how we will customize it now the curves there is the options this car this beautiful car because the presentation is the key of the your skill how you presenting your work suppose here you have to get this one this one and go there change the curve type suppose here sometimes it is like uh, that okay you can see here now the curve is went out how we can show it where is it where how can we see that so here change and now we will change it concerted column line with markers something remaining this one and we can also change from here this all so how we will edit the data if the chart is not getting the data correctly so how can we edit plant percentage these all when whichever you want to see the data go to the edit give the name then go here it will tell you where it is taking from the data from here this row and until up to the end so this way you can see your chart type as well and also if this value these values are not showing here suppose this values so how we will see these values from over there so just click here the line or values if you are not don't have values go here and go to the data levels when you go to the data levels here just check it and then select here and then format it by the normal way from here if you increase you can see here it is increasing the size so if you want to change the colors you can change the colors and if you want to change the box color you can change the box color even even though you can change from here if you want to change this color you can change you can format like excel and if you want to customize this one suppose this one is now is 51.57 percent either this one is 100 percent why it is showing 51.7 percent somewhere it is the values are there so we will delete this one this these values are remains before so this one this values will delete it it will automatically went out when your project is 100 percent so you can see here how we are going here according to this if you want to customize this one from dotted to any other shape so go here format data series and go here here you can see here now you can change any of the line now you can see it also you can change the thickness or line you can see you can format any of them this way this way okay solid and i want to see with this way okay this is here you want to increase the size of the line you can see now the size is increasing and also if you uh, reduce the transparency you can from do from here okay you can change the color from here for the marker you can do from here 3d view you can go for here the 3d views whatever you want to select and these values how we will do the horizontal values go here size no alignment here center middle rotate and tall you can do it by this way and also this way and also you can do by this way whatever whichever you want to customize from here you can uh, get it the values from here so hopefully this tutorial is also helpful for the planning engineers when they are specially presenting their work to the other clients and clients want to see a good presentation over there so these formats some of the our format and stops are paid version 
this has a nominal prices you can get it from us uh, by contacting with us we will hopefully we will share some of the stuff free stuff with you with this tutorial and if you want to get amazing formats for us we have too many formats for the s curve dashboard weekly flash report daily progress reports and many other formats we have a very executive reports and project review report and then man hours reports man power review report monthly basis we have all that stuff for island gas infrastructure works and each industry we have all stuff you can also contact us for the any of the freelance work uh, for the any assignment from the university for the project management students and also uh, for the construction management students whatever the assignment we are writing their reports and we are completing the project on time and with their requirements so hopefully this tutorial is helpful for you people with this note i am saying thank you and allah hafiz